Right now, universities of Wisconsin leaders reveal a proposed deal from the state legislature to unlock funding for them. We'll take a look at the details of that deal. Also, the city of Beloit is making moves to assure voters can cast their ballots safely next year. And later, some Badger football players are looking to transfer to other schools. How will that impact their NIL deals they made in Madison? Welcome everybody to News 3 Now at 6. Thanks for joining us. Eric and Charlotte are off tonight. We're going to begin with the weather, specifically the temperatures, where today it felt more like early spring than December 8th. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti is on the weather patio. Gary? Well, today's the last of the really mild days. I think temperatures will be a little colder for the weekend, but still at or above average all the way through the end of next week. As we look at Doppler track, things are quiet here. There's some snow up in North Dakota, but a few light showers starting to show up in far southeastern Iowa and west central Illinois. As we zoom into southern Wisconsin, again, not much going on here, but you can see on six hour future track radar, the possibility for some rain showers starts to increase after about 10 o'clock. And here they'll be in the form of rain showers because temperatures are very mild. This morning, we started out at 43 degrees. Now, the average high temperature is in the middle 30, so that just gives you an idea how mild it was today. Madison topped out at 55, so did Janesville. Boscobel hit 57, Milwaukee well into the upper 50s. Now, temperatures are still in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Madison and Janesville are still at or above the 50 degree mark. It's 49 in Middleton, 53 in Stoughton, and 47 degrees in Cross Plains. Look for skies to gradually become mostly cloudy by late evening. Uh, temperatures dropping to around 41 degrees. The rain, again, probably after about 11 or 12 o'clock tonight. Later on, I'll take a look at how much rain we can expect and whether or not there's any snow in the forecast. All right, Gary, thank you. The universities of Wisconsin have reached an agreement with state lawmakers that will unlock $32 million of funding that had previously been blocked. That includes raises for UW employees, as political reporter Will Keneally explains. Will? Well, Susan, the key here that unlocked the funds were for the UW some concessions on diversity, equity, and inclusion positions. Republicans in the Capitol had refused to release the funds if the university system did not eliminate those positions. Now, according to a draft agreement, the system will freeze the number of DEI positions for the next three years. Now, the system also agreed to reassign a third of the current DEI employees to other positions. Here's UW-Madison Chancellor Jennifer Manukin. This isn't getting rid of DEI, nor is it completely business as usual. We've agreed to partly reimagine how we go about our work to emphasize student success, which already, of course, is an incredibly important priority. Now, this would reassign 43 employees to other positions and comes amid a wide-ranging deal that will include funding for a new engineering building on the UW-Madison campus and those pay raises for UW employees. Now, the System Board of Regents will meet tomorrow morning to discuss the plan, and if approved, the legislature would have to release the funds by the end of the year. Now, most of the provisions under the agreement would be dealt with by legislative committees and would not need to be signed off by the Democratic governor. Will, thank you. One person was found dead after an apartment building fire in Janesville this morning. It happened in the 1300 block of North Randall Avenue just before 7. Fire officials say one person escaped from the unit where the fire started. That person was taken to a hospital. During a search of the building, firefighters found one person dead. Investigators are working to determine what caused the fire. With a major election year approaching, the city of Beloit is looking to make voting safer. Our Maddie Heimsch reports the city is rearranging their polling locations and moving them out of schools. I'm here at Hackett Elementary, where students share their lunch tables with voters. Hackett is one of the four schools in Beloit that serves as a polling station, opening doors for community members to come in and mark their ballots during school hours. This puts lunchrooms and gymnasiums out of service on election days and, according to Beloit officials, puts students at risk. Having voters coming in and out of a building unsecured during the day when you've got, you know, kindergartners to fourth graders, fifth graders in that school. So we wanted to make sure that 
we're providing a safe location for voting and also paying attention to the safety of the kids. The city of Beloit worked with the Beloit School District, the League of Women Voters, the NAACP, and Lavos de Beloit to plan and propose new locations. The proposed move still requires city council approval. That vote will be held Monday, December 18th, and if approved, the changes will roll out spring of 2024. In Beloit, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. The pro-Trump lawyer who helped devise the 2020 fake electors plot is now cooperating with Wisconsin state investigators in hope of avoiding more criminal charges. Kenneth Chesbrough's cooperation in Wisconsin is the first indication the state attorney general's office has launched its own investigation into the false slates of pro-Trump electors. So far, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call has not publicly announced that an investigation investigation is underway. Well, you're used to watching Eric and Charlotte right here on News 3 Now at 6, but tonight they've traded this studio for a different live show. They're at the holiday party fundraiser for Geo's Garden, a center for young children with special needs started 11 years ago by our very own Charlotte Deleste. Braden Ross is live tonight at the Goodman Community Center where the festivities are just getting ready to kick off. Braden? Yeah, we're still getting things set up here. The doors don't open for another few minutes here, but I am here with board president of Geo's Garden, Hillary Burning. Hillary, tell me what's going to happen tonight in just a few minutes. We are here celebrating Geo's Garden holiday party. It's our annual fundraiser. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. So we are having a live show, which is full of music and laughter and stories about Geo's Garden. So tell me about Geo's Garden. What is the organization? What do kids get from this? Um, Geo's Garden, we are a therapeutic respite center located in Middleton. We were designed um, to give parents a break. Um, parents of children with special needs don't always get a break as easy as other parents. So we provide a safe space for kids to come and play and be themselves and just be accepted for who they are. And you actually got involved when your own son went through Geo's Garden. Tell me about that experience and what it was like for you. My son Colin was actually the third kiddo to attend Geo's Garden and the third kiddo to graduate from Geo's Garden. He called it home. Whenever he walked in the door, he said, I'm home. It was a very special place for him and became a very special place for my husband and I. And when he graduated, I knew I needed to stay involved. And so here I am. And so the event tonight will be live streamed, so people still have a chance to donate and get involved and watch the live stream if they want. Tell us how people can do that. If people want to go to jailsgarden.org, you can hit that donate button, and any donation of $50 or more will get you a code to live stream the event tonight. Awesome. Yeah, and if you're missing Eric Franke on your screen, he'll be one of the MCs here tonight, so you can see him on that live stream if you want to do that. But I'll have more on this event coming up tonight at 10 on News 3 Now. But for here, live at Goodman Community Center on Madison's East Side, I'm Braden Ross for News 3 Now. Braden and Hillary, thank you so much. Coming up on News 3 at 6, as flu season continues, we look into where we stand on developing a universal flu shot. Plus, a potential game changer for those with sickle cell disease. How the promising high-tech treatment works. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV, your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Culligan Water takes pride in being your local water experts. We live here, work here, and dedicate our lives to improving our area's water. We deliver the world's best water treatment and the industry's best service to you. Culligan Water, your local water experts. 
there's still time to get your home ready for the holidays during Steinhoffel's holiday sale. Save big and get the room you've been wishing for. Start with 20% off all Christmas decor. Save big on a new sofa for dad, a new mattress for mom, and make your dream room more affordable with Steinhoffel's 60-month financing. It's the holiday sale at Steinhoffel's. Shop in store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. There is big news on a medical breakthrough. The FDA has approved the first gene therapies to treat patients with sickle cell disease. The treatment known as Exacel is made by Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics. Red blood cells are removed from the body and edited to turn on production of a different form of the oxygen carrying protein hemoglobin. Then the edited cells are returned to the patient programming your cells to produce fetal hemoglobin. And it's been widely known that those who have higher levels of fetal hemoglobin tend to have less severe symptoms of sickle cell disease. So far, 29 out of 30 patients met the trial's goal, being free from having a pain crisis for at least a year after treatment. However, gene editing is expected to cost several million dollars per patient, and it may not be appropriate for everyone with sickle cell disease. As flu cases continue to rise across most, most of the country, doctors say getting a flu shot is the best way to protect yourself against severe illness. And in the future, you may not have to roll up your sleeve every year to get it. Ted Ross is the global director of vaccine development at Cleveland Clinic. His program is trying to make a flu vaccine that won't have to be manufactured each year. It would protect against all strains of the virus. You wouldn't have to wait for a particular season. And as long as we have long lived immunity, then we would be protected this year, the next year, the year after without having to get a booster shot. Ross hopes it would encourage people, more people to get vaccinated, but the virus wouldn't go away completely. He says that since it's present in animals as well, the vaccine would have to be updated every once in a while. After the break, we'll take a look at some of the holiday festivities happening over the weekend. Plus, as hundreds of college football players look to transfer to new teams, we'll ask an expert on how their departure impacts NIL deals. And what's the weather looking like for the weekend? Gary has the complete forecast when we come back. Save big money in your next painting project now at Menards. Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint is a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 701 coat colors. A gallon is $34.87 after $5 mail-in rebate. Add a pop of color to your home with Paramount Interior Paint. It provides the most advanced protection and true one coat coverage. A gallon of Paramount Flat Interior Paint is only $44.98. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Stella uses AT&T for her internet and mobile service. Abby has Spectrum One. The difference is big. With AT&T, Stella pays a lot more. I do? It's $110 a month for AT&T internet and an AT&T unlimited extra line. Plus monthly fees. Ouch. With Spectrum One, Abby gets big savings. Spectrum internet with the most reliable internet speeds. It's really fast. Advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced privacy and security. And an unlimited mobile line with nationwide 5G. All with no added taxes or hidden fees. Now you can get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. That's a good deal. I know. With Spectrum One, Abby is saving big. Over $75 a month. That's over $900 in savings. So Stella, what do you think? I'm switching to Spectrum. Spectrum One is a big deal. Call 800-872-0180. Visit Spectrum.com or a Spectrum store today. You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers? Purchased. Doggy distractions? No expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft grace zone. So when you have to make a purchase, or seven, to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank.
I would end the day with sore feet, uh, sore legs. The drugstore inserts that I was purchasing were really not very useful at all. I walked into the Good Feet store and the guy kind of grinned at me and said, uh, I hear that a lot. I was living with chronic pain before going to the Good Feet store. Now I don't really have that problem. I'm able to do the things that I expect to be able to do, uh, even at my advanced age. <laughs> I feel pretty good about what's going on. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. We are just over two weeks away from Christmas, so you better believe there are a ton of holiday activities happening across southern Wisconsin. We start in Rock County at the Rotary Botanical Gardens. Their 27th annual holiday light show is underway. This year, the garden paths feature more than 1.5 million lights with themed light displays and animations. You can get your tickets and see the official schedule at RBG Holiday Light Show. Dot com. Next up, the zoo lights are back at the Henry Viola Zoo this Christmas season. All tickets include unlimited carousel rides, and Santa will be available for pictures every night until December 23rd. This is a timed ticket event. Tickets are required to enter, and it's also important to note there are no ticket sales at the gate this year. Zoo lights are happening Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays through December 30th. The entrance times are for from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and the gates close at 9 o'clock. And all aboard the Holiday Express at Old Brick Botanical Gardens, you can check out large-scale model trains from the Wisconsin Garden Railway Society chugging through a festive scene overflowing with hundreds of poinsettias and fresh evergreens. This is happening all month long through the 31st and this year the trains travel through our state scenic countryside exploring all of Wisconsin's homegrown goodness. Tickets are $8 for adults, $5 for kids six and over and free for children five and under. Also free by the way for all Old Brick members. So all we need now Gary is a little light snow to set the tone, but there is none anywhere in sight, right? No, I think our precipitation this weekend will be in a liquid form. And the reason is our temperatures are just un unusually mild. These are the overnight low temperatures. Now, I'll forgive you if you would think that these would be the high temperatures because even th those would be above normal. But most of the state, other than Rhinelander, dropped below or stayed above freezing last night. So with the ground warm, little to no snow on the ground, and then temperatures that rise from there, like high temperatures in the mid-50s in Madison, upper 50s in Milwaukee, La Crosse hit 54, even Rhinelander, starting out in the upper 20s, ended up at 50 degrees today. Uh, unfortunately, that does not bode well for snow. So three things you need to know in the forecast. Rain showers expected overnight into tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll turn colder with seasonable temperatures uh, beginning Sunday through Tuesday. Highs will be in the middle 30s, but we go mild again by the end of next week with high temperatures near or above 40 degrees starting on Wednesday and lasting through next weekend. On Doppler track, showers are starting to show up across parts of southeastern Iowa. That's the moisture that we're watching. And as we look at six hour future track radar, notice as we head beyond like maybe 9, 10 o'clock, we start to see the showers becoming a little more widespread over southern Wisconsin. But you also don't see any snow in that either because those temperatures are just going to be very mild. As we look at future track, notice the showers. This begins around midnight, moving through most of southern Wisconsin and into the central and northern parts of the state by 3 a.m. But again, there's no snow there. By the time it gets cold enough for some snow to mix in, and that will happen in the northern parts of the state, the bulk of the precipitation is shifting off to the north and east. Notice the wind shift to the west here. That starts to bring in colder air by 9 a.m. That'll keep temperatures nearly steady, but they'll still be in the lower 40s for tomorrow. And then uh, some snow showers or flurries mainly in the northeastern portion of the state. Might see a quarter to a half inch of rain over southeastern Wisconsin, east of Madison, west of Madison, probably about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain, but it'll be in a liquid form. Snow will mainly be in the northern half of the state, less than an inch unless you're close to Lake Superior. Uh, the Lake Snow Belt areas will pick up a little more snow there, but by and large, you're going to have to travel to see snow this weekend. High temperatures over the next 10 days, 42 tomorrow with nearly steady temperatures through the day. We drop into the middle 30s for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but we're back into the upper 30s to the middle 40s all the way through next weekend and beyond. By that time, the average high temperature should be below freezing at 31 degrees. And take a look at the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This is almost scary because the entire country expected to see above normal temperatures, the highest probabilities right here other than the southern portions of Texas 
everybody expected to see above normal temperatures and precipitation expected to be below normal through the northern part of the country, including Wisconsin. So warm temperatures and little or no precipitation, that's not a good recipe for snow. Planning your next uh, 18 hours starting at 9 p.m., notice the clouds and then the showers start to move in. Temperatures right around 40 through much of the night, so precipitation is going to be in the form of rain. Even as we get towards 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, temperatures upper 30s out west, maybe could be a mix of snow there. By that time, most of the precipitation is heading to the north and east. Temperatures right around 40 or a little bit above in Madison through uh, noontime. And then uh, again, uh, we're just looking at uh, cloudy skies tomorrow afternoon. Rain overnight, quarter to a half inch from Madison eastward, west of Madison, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain, and snow across our viewing area, maybe less than an inch in the northern portions of Juneau and Adams counties. Planning your night, 41 for the low in Verona, 40 in Cross Plains, 41 in Windsor. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, Janesville only dropping to 44, La Crosse 37, and Prairie du Chien at 38. Here in Madison for tomorrow, high of 42, cloudy, breezy, and colder. Showers mainly in the morning in the first warm 7 to 10 day forecast. Mid 30s, but dry weather Sunday through Tuesday. Then temperatures upper 30s to around 40. Rain shower chance Friday afternoon, mixing with snow Friday night into Saturday morning before sunshine returns. That's it for precipitation through next weekend. Wow. All right, Gary, thank you. Wisconsin Badgers wide receivers Chimre DK and Skylar Bell are just some of the college football players entering the transfer portal this week. These are big names with big investments from NIL deals. Our Catherine Merck spoke with an expert about what a transfer could mean for name, image, and likeness. The team a player is with can have a lot to do with their name, image, and likeness. So transfers have lots to consider in that regard. But Brian Lammy with Team Lammy, an advertising agency who works with athletes in these agreements, says it can also be beneficial. Uh, you know, in some ways it can be an adjustment because they're leaving a school where they may be more established. But in other cases, it may be an opportunity uh, in a new market. Uh, to let fans there know what they're passionate about. Something else Lammy says young athletes need to consider. Many NIL deals might have rules about their behavior off the field. There typically are going to be, you know, behavioral or moral clauses uh, that is important for the athlete to put their best foot forward. So you're, you know, responsible for what you're doing on the field, but also off the field. When athletes approach these kind of decisions to transfer, they have to consider all of their options, just like the brands do. You know, it's important that the athletes are just really thoughtful about getting it right, being prepared, and potentially, you know, seeking expert advice, whether that's an agency like us or an attorney or their parents or just making sure that they're being thoughtful about the commitments that they're making. He added that brands will likely wait to see where their athletes are going if they're just planning to adjust their deals based on the new school. So there is a bit of a holding pattern here. He said that the players, the universities, and the brands involved in all of these deals are continuing to adjust to the very new way for these student athletes to make money. And coming up in sports, one more sleep until Wisconsin takes the court for their Elite Eight match. Why Kelly Sheffield says his team is ready for the moment. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Win a hand paint jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Downs and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Downs. At Lawton Cates, your life counts is more than just a slogan because around here, we're all about comebacks. Whether it's helping you recover after a car accident or return to the job following an injury, it's us fighting the odds and the insurance company to make sure you get the compensation you and your family deserve. No one loves a great comeback story more than Lawton Cates, which motivates us to fight for our clients every day. Your life counts. Lawton Cates, call us today. With dad's arthritis, he struggles with housework and bathing. So I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their age at home service, dad gets the help he needs to stay independent at home. A grace, caring every step of the way. I volunteer because it's, I think, the right thing to do. And um, selfishly, yeah, I, I get a lot of joy from doing it. It's a joy that comes from taking people to where they need to go. Just watch yourself coming out. You can't 
bottle it, you can't buy it. That only comes from volunteerism. When people really need to get to those medical appointments and they don't have any other means, I, I just look at it as kind of like the least I can do to try to help out. This year, let Ford make the holidays bright and bring everyone together. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco hey, Sport. Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the confidence of goat modes. And the versatile Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. Aww. And with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. See your Ford dealer today during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dallas, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dallas. If we can change one kid's life for the better, we've won. A season of giving to kids who might otherwise find no gifts waiting for them on Christmas morning. I'll show you how a local organization is making sure highly mobile kids get a visit from Santa. Monday at 10. For the sixth straight year, Wisconsin Volleyball has found themselves in the Elite Eight and just Oregon stands in their way for a trip to Tampa and to the Final Four. And what a journey it's been for Kelly Sheffield's squad, or I should say, a climb. The Badgers have gotten better each and every practice, every set, and every match, and they know they're ready for Saturday's moment. A few things that are happening right now. We're playing our best volleyball uh, of the year right now, and we haven't played our best volleyball yet. Uh, both those things are, are happening. It's, uh, and part of that is, is how they're taking care of themselves, how they're prepared for the moment, uh, but also uh, being able to play with joy and freedom. And, uh, and all of those things are, are kind of coming right there that, that they're ready for the moment. Just a reminder to check out this week's Wisconsin Huddle with Badger women's hockey captain Britta Curl. Show starts at 6.30 tonight right here on News 3 Now. And don't forget, you can come out to a live taping next Monday, December 11th at Buck and Honey's in Mount Horeb. Connor Asijan will be stopping by. Speaking of Wisconsin men's basketball, they have a top 25 showdown in Tucson on Saturday against the nation's top team, Arizona. And the Badgers are feeling pretty good about themselves. They enter on a six game win streak and have been doing all the right things. Playing good defense, getting to the foul line, rebounding and playing good basketball. Well, this team that makes them confident that they can play with anyone in the country. Oh, we're really being able to get to see it, um, whether that's some guys on the, on the bench that haven't really been in this situation before or the people on the outside. Um, I feel like we're here. Um, we're going to continue to keep better, getting better and better. Obviously, we're a good team. One beat top 25 for no reason. Um, just, you know, no matter what happens, we're going to keep the same same mindset going into every game. And, uh, short-term memory with everything. So you got Badger basketball on it's Saturday afternoon weekend. and then Badger volleyball Saturday night. Wow. And the weather is going to be great. Yeah, probably just rain for Saturday morning. The rest of the weekend will be dry. High resolution radar, no rain right now, but over the next six hours, we'll see it spreading in from the south. So expect after about 9 o'clock near the state line and oh, about uh, 10 to 11 o'clock here in Madison, a little bit later for, for areas to the north. All right, thanks a lot, Gary. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hope to see you back here tonight at 10.